Our team is young, but yet we are very competitive. Uh, our first meet was Thursday before spring break. Had our state consideration in our 200 medley. We were close in the 200 free. We are also had three individuals that were close to their uh, consideration time. So hopefully by the end of the year, we can have our, meet our goals of having three, at least three individual people qualify for state and all three relays qualify for state. So at the meet today, it's at Topeka, which we usually have better times here at home. So um, I'm hopeful that we'll get our state qualification in the relay. We got the consideration time uh, a few weeks ago. We've only progressed since then. And being a part of the team for four years, um, I've been able to like walk, like know people for four years, three years, two years, and like even know girls um, who are just doing it their first year. And like the special thing about it is that they're all like really nice people and they work really hard. It's just like a really good team that we have this year, especially because they're so young and it's like only going to get better. If you see any of the ladies on the swim and dive teams, wish them luck at today's meet or go support them at Hummers Capital Federal Natatorium. Good morning, Topeka High School. I'm Angel Elliott. And I'm Jillian Mongol, and this is your THS Morning Report. The Tenonson Society is sponsoring our awesome drama department's production of Zoot Soup by Luis Valdez, but that's only one part of a broader cultural event. In the upcoming weeks, there are a number of things scheduled that relate to Midwest Mexican-American culture and history. On April 5th is the panel discussion, Our Stories. April 11th, THS alum and PhD candidate Neil Kennedy gives a talk on the importance of the play. On April 12th is a concert in the cafeteria, and it all culminates with the THS production of Zoot Suit on April 20th and 21st. Links for all events can be found in this morning report's description. Men's Warehouse Clothing Store will be here today during lunches and after school to help guys planning on attending prom. They'll take orders, fit, and measure you right here at THS. No need to drive across town. For just a $20 down payment, you can get your prom wardrobe taken care of. So with prom right around the corner, you'll be ready to look sharp. The THS prom closet is back and it could use your help. If you have any newer, gently used formal wear, shoes, or accessories, please bring them to school and drop them off in room 332A or the main office. The prom closet is free and available to all students with formal wear for girls and guys. Open shopping will be April 5th and April 10th during Trojan time or after school by appointment. See Julie Phillips in room 332A or email her at jphillips at tps501.org for more info. The rescheduled parent-teacher conferences will take place from 3.30 to 7.30 tonight, so make sure to remind your parents and guardians. Next week, we'll be on a special testing schedule for sophomore reading and math tests. Monday and Wednesday will be odd blocks, Tuesday and Thursday will be even blocks, and Friday all classes meet. The practice sessions during Trojan time for students taking the April 14th ACT will be on April 5th for English and April 12th for math. If you're going to take the ACT, you might as well practice, so go sign up in the Counseling Center. Now it's time for lunch with, who is it? Chase and Abel. Chase and Abel. What? What? Uh -huh. What's happening? She said, she said three. And today, Abel. T today you'll be having 
ham with rolls and jelly, baked spaghetti with garlic toast, or pizza burger with fries. And you will have mac and cheese with cornbread, or black beans with quinoa. And that's what you eat. Back to the news desk. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. If you're planning on running for a Stugo office, candidate applications are currently available in the main office. Or you can see Mr. Duel in room 213B. Completed applications are due by Tuesday, April 3rd, and must be turned into Miss Morrissey's executive assistant, Miss Scrimshire, by 3.30 p.m. Any girls interested in basketball or lifting weights can work out Monday through Thursday from 3.10 to 4.10 in the weight room. See Coach Blackburn for more info. There will be a football informational meeting held after school in the weight room on Friday. Anyone playing football next fall needs to attend. If you are unable to attend, see Coach A. Hey Trojans, especially underclassmen, don't forget to check your school email every day. The Counseling Center is sending out information regarding trips and other opportunities for you. So check your TPS501.org account. KU will be here April 11th at 8.30 a.m. and K-State will be here April 12th at 2.15 p.m. All college visits are in the Cavalier Room, so sign up in the Counseling Office. Let's talk about this yet. If you want to represent your class at the strongest class competition at the Pep Assembly, email Paz Zuninga or Ms. Thornton. Sophomores and freshmen are in the lead right now, so upperclassmen, y'all need to step up because, you, you know, we're upperclassmen, so we step up. And that's all we have for you today at Speak of High. And remember, it's a great day to be a Trojan.